Alright guys, in today's video, I'm going to be playing some Chandra. I, uh, she got shadow buffed, in case you didn't know. She now deals 5 damage. That wasn't in the patch notes. At least no one saw it if it was in the patch notes. And, um, I think, I figured that's what they were going to do with her ability uh, a long time ago. It just took them longer to get around to it than I thought. And with the buff to Lookout, I decided to play that over the Giant Growth because it uh, really helps in Domri matchups because every time they arm Worms Wake, you can just look out and then uh, they basically blank the turn, which can just win you the game outright. Also, against uh, Zafari, setting up a good board. Um, you really need to push the last bit of damage through. It'll stop a Glare from going off. Um, maybe a um, Transparent Hallway if they got it off of a, a Staff and so on. Uh, stop a Disorient, whatever it is. Help you get that last bit of damage through. Uh, Minotaur got buffed. It now has four attack. I don't know why. I think this is insane. Uh, so we're going to see how strong that is. And so, yeah. A few things have been adjusted. But it's basically the same cool aggro list I've been running since the inception of the game. Uh, you know, globally or like the main launch, whatever you want to call it. And um, I put back those Lava Axes that were originally in there over the Reckless Strikes because um, basically between her ability and one Lava Axe, your opponent starts out with 10 less health. And we're going to see how it goes. So, thank you for watching, and I guess we'll see how it goes. Okay, going to be in Surround. Um, I originally had the Reckless Strikes in there for him specifically last season, but with Thing in the Ice having four defense now, there's a lot of stuff that we um, can trade into Welcome, it with. Distinguished guests, and so, hopefully we don't need it. Um, it's a really slow land if they're running... Um, school of the Wizard, then they're just doing really slow things. I'll keep this in. We can go two into two, Let's go. three, four. This seems pretty good. I mean, this can trade with Thing in the Ice, you know. Obviously, can die to Shock and a Braid and Sample and all that. Another Flame Shot. Don't know if I wanted that. <laughs> See if we can at least get this off here. A little chilly this morning. Just sipping all my coffee. Oh, well. As long as there's not something like really weird. Taking six. Just like that, he's already taken nine damage. Or excuse me, 11 damage, which is really crazy. That doesn't actually do anything. Uh, this is going to be mana efficient, so I can go Tusker and Shortcut her next turn. Make them burn. Ooh, Burn Through is really good. Burn Through is really good. I have Shortcut her and this, um, so I'm going to do this this turn, and then next turn, uh, do this. Yeah, that's really cute. Oh man, I could go double Tusker, man. Is that what I want to do? I can make two things not be able to block. Ooh, is that what I want to do? I think it is what I want to do. As long as this turn isn't too impressive, then we're gonna win in like two turns. Energy level These are the two that aren't gonna be able to block. Okay, so he's gonna have a blocker, but at least it'll die to one of these. What you got? Spark into something else? Okay. Yeah. Don't know, that was really weird looking. Um, okay, she's gonna take at least seven here. So cold. I think that was worth it. Wait a turn and just get 
more of that damage in. I'm gonna play this because the game is most likely gonna be decided by this and my land proccing. Which is why we have that land despite the new one that makes the uh, two ones with haste really good. Um, a lot of the games come down to the wire with Chandra, so every point of damage is just um, super, super important. Okay, we wouldn't be doing that if you had removal. Unless he goes really wide, I'm at least going to get one more attack through. Because I'm just going to swing out every turn until he's dead. Uh. Sure. Full charge. Uh, even just uh, pushing two damage through, so that way uh, Top Deck Lava Axe could kill him. Okay. Well now we're fighting. going to flame shot this and then attack. Is it tasty? <laughs> Okay. Now if my land wants to go off, that'd be cool. Hey, alright. Three to the base. Okay. Uh, Mongrel's not terrible. Um, so yeah, let's do this. I broke something! Um... I could get two damage through, but my flame shot wouldn't kill him anyway. So I might try and like get a block here so I can flame shot uh. this and get it to go away. So a little bit more patience here. Patience with aggro, patience with aggro. Happens a lot more than you would think. That's a problem. That's actually a really big problem. Um, Pyroclasm, unfortunately, does leave me two blockers still. Okay, now if he has like mana surge into something, that would be a problem. like this, and so this one can trade into either one. If he has like a warding flame he wants to play, then so be it. Oh, snap. Well, I'm um, just making sure I'm not crazy. Uh, short cutter, attack with three things, and he's dead, yeah. That's why short cutter is really, really good. Moves exactly like this one. Woo I broke something. And that is a game. Very nice. Ooh, okay, this is a good matchup. Don't know why I went all the way down to platinum, Jesus. Um, that's kind of crazy. But I just lost a game to um to Nahiri, and the reason I'm not showing it is because my whole hand was damage up, removal, and they kept swinging with a Tajik, and there was nothing I could do, so um, it was kind of lame, to be honest. Um, I wouldn't mind getting another two. Give me another two drop. Because I'm going to ramp one out and then have to play another one. Yeah, perfect. Time it's much better. But yeah, um... I'll send you on like ground assault and firecrafter. What else was there? Hello. The one that like you sacrifice a thing to deal three to something, and it was the only thing they had. Hello. But yeah, it was just silly. Open your mind. Okay, so they have to play something very soon. I'm gonna hit him for six. Premium Scepter is beautiful. This dude's face bothers me though. He just looks like, um. Just like a greasy, slimy, like, car salesman. Looking for. Oh, takedown won't do it, so. Unsummon maybe? And someone would actually hurt a lot here. One must perfect 
one's craft. Okay, well I can mitigate that now. So that's you know, not great, but uh, it's okay. I'm gonna try not to build a board that's super susceptible to infest, but you know. Sometimes it can't be helped. But uh, if he infests, then the next turn I will be able to... Um, actually, it won't be the next turn because they're ahead of me in mana. I was going to say Fire Spot Elemental, but I wouldn't be able to. One must he just, oh, that's what he got off the Scepter. There's no way he's just like... Right? Right. If you want to give me cards, that's pretty cool. Um, should I just do 5 damage or should I buff this attack... Let him trade. Get a bunch of damage through, maybe. Let's just push the damage. If he trades with the 3 2, okay, I was gonna say, he trades with the 3 2, he opens himself up to the flame shots, uh, my land going off on it, all kinds of stuff. So for him, that looks like some form of stabilization, but he doesn't know I have this followed by this. Which is a big problem for him, not for me. You're gonna give me cards. Kind of annoyed, that would have been really good. I'm okay with it now. I'm actually okay with it now. Do you pass after this, bro? Okay, I was about to say that you Have you tried trouble. turning it off and on again? Okay, and I can still just swing out. Ooh, ball lightning. Fantastic top deck. Fantastic top deck. Your thoughts are an open door. I want to get the 1-3 down to 1 health. Again, to be susceptible to flame shot and my land. If you want to spend your whole turn to infest, I'll smack you for six. It's a little annoying. That's wrong. That is 100 million percent wrong every time, forever, for always. The chances that that gets him a better block than two damage is insanely high. So that's that's really short-sighted. Ice to meet you. are an open door. This is going to take one-sixth of his mana next turn, and I'm probably just going to summon another one immediately, and he won't be able to so cool. deal with them. Trying to figure out a way of dealing with this. I mean, he's gonna chill wind, but it's like, what else is he gonna do? Oh, that's fine. Now he's open. That's sick. You cannot keep secrets. Okay, so we're gonna do this. The next turn we have Hell Rider and Shortcutter. So this will be over what swiftly. A remarkable surprise. You gave it to me. Didn't he give it? Didn't he bring me something closer about knowing out something that didn't matter? The treetop lookout, or did I already have it? One's craft. Really? Your thoughts are an open door. Don't think that's how you should be playing this. Um, sure, sure. Open your mind. You better not be passing. Garbage deck. Yeah, you can try and get all the nightmares you want. Though. You cannot kill secrets. 
When my land goes off and he's empty like this, it's going to be 3 damage to face. Still one away from clear the field if they run something really weird like that just to stall out with all this shenanigans. I don't know. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, this was the platinum dude. Okay, it makes sense now. I was like, how are they running this and not getting like just obliterated by all the domries and stuff? And I forgot the matchmaking situation it had me in. Huh. I mean, I, I, I totally understand the concept, my guy. <laughs> now my land goes off. Okay. All things must be made. For sure. Save the final game, I can get a better uh, matchup, right? Oh, look, it's Talaria. Now, hopefully, um, Talaria doesn't run, probably does run Tajik, but it would be really bad to uh, run into a second one because all the removal is damage based, crazy. And Tajik's like the only card in the game that, that matters to. Okay, I'm not going first, which is good. Um, I'll keep the two drop just because I don't want to mull away and then have like not two drops, but you know, we'll see. Ready to get crushed? And she's in, in the lead! lead. <laughs> Avenge them. Okay. Trying out the new pack day. Hello. Stuff with armor is a pain. Damn, Talari, you're not even gonna say hi to me. That's rude. I'm hoping the creature that he got with armor is like unimpressive, you know. But who knows? I'm probably just gonna play lookout for the stat line, especially if he just passes here. Right behind you. Follow my lead. This is what I didn't want to happen. Yeah, you shouldn't attack there. Yeah, he knows. He's gonna buff this and then attack. So. I have to just buff the Tusker, even though I don't want to. I'm gonna make him block with something here. Okay, cool. The armor's off. And so now a flame shot will, you know, hopefully pick this off and something else. Um, if he has a shock, then I can still take this trade and just take the two. Yeah, that's fine. Cleave your foes. Yes, yes, yes. Drink deep from okay. the well, there's nothing that he can heal <laughs> stats for. Healing the three is really good though. Do, 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 do. I'm looking at this. I don't think he's going to swing. Or if he does, he might just poke with this. Knowing I'll probably take the trade and leave this alone. If uh. I had to guess. Yeah, he's got to be down. Um, 
I think I'm just gonna play this. I can see everything from up here. And next turn, my flame shot could do mad work, or I could just summon Mongrel and keep the pressure up. It just depends. That sucks. Is he just gonna poke me for two now? That wouldn't be horribly surprising. Don't break it. Nope. Yeah, this is fine, because then I can take control with Mongrel and Elemental. So this works. Yeah, so we got this. <laughs> This is never going to get any value for the rest of the game, so this trade is totally fine. And I'm hoping I can mongrel into elemental. Okay, That'll make a, a trade and um, shock kill my mongrel, so it's not too bad. Yep. Yeah, that's, like, beyond fine. If he ever wants to play those, that's fine. Because it's just not real development, you know? So he's got three actual cards in his hand, Don't two of those. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Seems really good. Now, hopefully there's, uh... Maybe, I'm wondering if he's gonna go two, two drop... Oh, no, he's, Take this. I was gonna say two one drop two ones, but he's not. Um, so here I can go Minotaur with this. I think that's better than just going Fire Spout and putting my Fire Spout at one. We'll go right through them. <laughs> no quarter. Okay. I just want to get some things with more like one toughness on the board so I can get more value out of this flame shot. Nahiri definitely seems a lot better this format than she was in the previous one, though. <sighs> like I said, there's a lot of people... Oh, maybe I didn't say it. Um, there's a lot more uh, Nahiri this format, and I think it's because people are just testing how good... Okay, immediately topped it, which is not good. But people are testing like how good their favorite for, you know, version of mid-range is. I mean, aggro and mid-range versus um, the new Take field the of like slightly nerfed top-tier stuff, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, we can block here. I'm not gonna take 10 from that, so it's just not gonna happen. Three here would be cool. Ha! <laughs> well, I think that won me the game. <laughs> That was crazy. <laughs> no quarter. I was kind of just messing about. Okay, good. The land didn't go off. He still got one more. The two one, right? No more acts of vengeance, though. So he'd have to like double buff something to be able to proc the five damage to my face. And flame shot's gonna remove blockers. And uh, I'll probably get game that way. Ah, uh, that's the one that got armor. Darn. We both I will have uh, Raging Goblin and Flame Shot, worst case. Though. I'm just gonna block with the six. Don't break it. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna take that. Obviously. Yeah. Okay, GG. I got kind of lucky with the, um, the triple proc on the on the healer, right? But uh, I think it showed that uh, Chandra is still a contender. You know, Chandra is still good, um, especially if you're looking for a cheap budget option. Chandra is pretty good. Um, I've gotten I gotten straight to Mythic Wither once, 
and um, she assisted me a great deal in another season into Mythic. I don't show her as much on the channel, not because she's not good, but because she is the one you start out with, and, um, you know, it's not like, I think it's really fun to play, but I know some people wouldn't, but um, you have the two Hellriders are the only two epics, uh, I mean, excuse me, Hellrider and Ball Lightning are the only two epics, and so, um, it's very, very, very budget friendly. Um, again, it's just another deck that you can play pretty much at any level of the ladder. Uh, extremely free to play friendly. So, I mean, this is just um, really the most free to free free to play friendly game I've ever played in my entire life. It's it's kind of incredible. Except for maybe with the exceptions of like Legends of Runeterra, because that's also like insanely free to play friendly. But this is like right up there. And I also could never. Um, I can never Are save you up, up like for the challenge. Just kidding. I know you're gonna make me proud. What's happening here? Oh, I just went to the wrong thing. Yeah, I can never save up uh, 135 packs in any game ever. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.